after I had my last child, I started to forget everything, like every single thing. Before that, it was easy to remember stuff. Like I was a walking organizer, like everything, everyone's schedule was right there in my head. Mine, my two kids, my husband's, our schedules were in my head. And then after my third child, I'd realized that I was missing appointments and all of that. And I was beginning to wonder like, what is going on? <laughs> Am I losing my mind? <laughs> until I realized that there was something called mom brain. Hi everyone, my name is Toby and welcome to my channel. Today I will be talking about the mom brain and strategies to stay organized and focused. You know that feeling of having like a million and one things racing in your mind and like you're and you're finding it so hard to stay organized. You you don't even know which one to do first. Well, don't be afraid because you are not alone. <laughs> you, me and a lot of other moms have are in this same situation. But don't worry, I have some tried and tested solutions for you. So let's get started. A lot of times my table is like this, scattered. <laughs> but the first step to managing this mom brain thing is embracing the power of lists and notes. Every single day, wherever I am, I always have a note to write on. And as soon as I remember something, I want to put it down in the brain dump. For me, I always use the back of my planner, the note section of my planner, because there's something incredibly satisfying about jutting down your schedules, your um, tasks and everything, and seeing them organized in front of you. It makes it easier to know that you have everything in one place and then you can take out that list, you know, anytime you need it. You can take from that list and now organize them into days and smaller tasks. Whether it's a to-do list for the day, the grocery list, um, the menu, anything. It is very, very important to always have notes around, sticky notes and all of that, to make sure that you can jot things down as the day goes. Like something just pops up in your head. Oh my God, I remember something. And I quickly go write it down because the moment I ignore it, it's gone. <laughs> Now let's talk about the magic of digital calendars with apps like Notion, Xtiles. Um, those are the ones I use, so those are the ones I will mention. It is easy to organize your day on your phone. For example, if you're not the note-taking type of person like me, you can have, if you have Notion or Xtiles on your phone, as you remember stuff, and especially because most of us always have our phones with us. As you remember stuff, it is easy. Turn on your phone, quickly go into x or Notion and write it down. Some people prefer iCalendar, Google Calendar, or the reminders on your phone. Those are apps that you can also, you also use. You can also use WhatsApp. A lot of times I type my grocery list or shopping list in WhatsApp and I send it to my husband. But good thing is that WhatsApp now has this feature where you can send things to yourself. So you quickly type it down and send it to yourself. That way you can always remember. Another essential strategy for managing this mom brain thing is mindfulness. It is important to prioritize self-care and mindfulness. And by mindfulness, I mean meditation. Meditation has a way of helping the brain remember things. And I can tell you this for sure because I have practiced mindfulness for over a year and it has helped me. So whether it is taking a deep breath, practicing meditation or going for a nature walk alone, find activities that help you find yourself, center yourself and quiet the noise in your head. Because a lot of times as moms, you're thinking about a lot of things. You're thinking of a lot of things. You have too many things in your head that you have to process. So every day you have to find a way to center yourself, bring yourself back to the center <laughs> to quiet the noise in your head. The technique is to pray. <laughs> I know it sounds cliche, but it is the truth. The Bible says that I will send you the Holy Spirit and he will guide you into all truth. When I started to notice that I had begun to forget things, I had to go back to the Holy Spirit and say, Holy Spirit, you have given me a sound mind and I want you to restore this back unto me. And he did. It is easy to, to, 
to say that oh it's a mom thing it is easy to say that it is a natural thing but i can tell you for sure because the bible says that with our mouth confession is made unto salvation so whatever it is that you do not want it is easy for you to go to the holy spirit and tell him that i understand that this is natural but i don't want i don't want it <laughs> i want to remember stuff another thing is exercising i have noticed that when you exercise and you are active it also enhances the power of your mind and your brain and that way it is easy for you to remember things and last but not the least will be to get yourself a daily planner I have created a daily planner for moms, created for moms by a mom, <laughs> by the way. And this daily planner will help you plan your day and your week as well. Like you have the weekly overview, your weekly goals, your meal planner. You don't have to keep that in your head. Like a lot of times I'm in the kitchen and I'm wondering what are we having for dinner? <laughs> but now I can have it all planned out. And then you have the daily planner as well. So get yourself a daily planner like this that was created for moms and you will be glad you did. I'm going to be linking this planner in the description box. You can purchase it off of Amazon. <laughs> All right. I hope this video has helped you in some way, shape or form. And I hope that you resonate with it. If it has, kindly click the subscribe button and share it to your friends. Heavenly Father, I thank you for that mom that is watching me today. Your word says that you have given us the spirit of power, love and of sound mind. And so Heavenly Father, I ask that your Holy Spirit comes and brings sound mind into the hearts the minds of this mom that your name alone will be glorified now have a fantastic day everyone my name is still be rich this stay at home mama